Hello students and family members, this is Mr. Panza. Welcome to a math video where we will focus on how do we find the value of any digit in a number. The value of any digit in the number 4635 can be found out by using a four-step process that I will teach you throughout this video. For example, if we were looking for the value of the number 6 or the digit 6 within the number 4653, you can follow these four steps and get the answer every single time. Let me show you how. The first step is singing the place value song. The song goes a little something like this. The reason step one is so important is because it basically determines the rest of the steps. For example, you need to create a place value chart based on your knowledge of the song. So when you are creating that place value chart, you should be singing the song and then creating the chart to make it look something like this. As the song wraps up, you should have a place value chart that looks something like this. From the right to the left, it starts with ones, then the tens, then the hundreds, followed by the thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions place value. Each place value has one line to represent the digit that it can hold in its value. Each place value is also ten times larger than the previous place value to its right. For example, the tens place value is ten times larger than the ones, the hundreds is ten times larger than the tens, and so on and so forth. Now that we have our chart created, and we know the song which helped us create our chart, we can move on to steps three and four to solve for any value of a number question. Now that I've completed steps one and two and have created my chart as you see down here, starting with the ones, followed by the tens, then the hundreds, followed by thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and millions, I can answer what is the value of this seven in 764,509 by following steps three and steps four. Step three is placing this entire whole number in the correct place value slots. That means that only one digit can go into one place value position. So I know that the 9 is in the 1s, the 0 is in the 10s, the 5 is in the 100s, the 4 is in the 1000s, the 6 is in the 10,000s, and the 7 is in the 100,000s. Now many of you already know what the value of the 7 is, just based on the fact that there's the place value that it's in. However, if you follow step four, you'll make sure that you never make any mini mistake, like forgetting a zero or placing something in the wrong spot. Step four tells you to replace any number that is directly to the right of the number you're trying to find the value of with a zero. So in 764,509, the 6 turns into a 0, the 4 turns into a 0, the 5 turns into a 0, the 0 remains a 0, and the 9 becomes a 0, which tells you that the 7 is not actually worth 7 at all. It's worth 700,000. And that's kind of interesting, because if a 7, which is typically a small single digit number, is placed in the correct place value, it enlarges that number's worth. So in this case, the 7 is worth 700,000. Following these steps each and every time will help you answer questions, like in the worksheet that you'll try out next. You can take a look at that worksheet and the homework help video in the video to the right of this one.
on Mr. Panza's website. Thanks, and I hope this helps.